Hi, my name is Teresa Koblack and today we are going to be making some wispy flowers. So I'm going to show you how I did this and let's go ahead and get started here. I'm working on some Yupo. This here is made for Ranger. It is the heavy stack and it's a 5x7. This works nice because you can use it as a card or you can frame it to put it um, up on your wall. I did lay out a couple extra colors today because I thought maybe we'd do a little extra colors. And so let's go ahead and get started. I have my little bowl of alcohol. So this is the 99% alcohol that I have in my bowl here. And I just take and dip into my ink and I get it really wet so I'm painting the back of the flower first And a lot of times I like to work on more than one flower at a time. So we'll bring another flower in about right here. And we'll do one about right here. So I'm just dipping into my alcohol, coming over, wiping a little bit out. And we're going to go ahead and add a little pink today. Now you can do yours just in red. The exact same way that I'm doing this, you just stick with the red. I find it's kind of nice to add a little bit of color though. Other colors, you can pick some yellows and even some purples. I just have some alcohol on my brush. I'm kind of pulling that alcohol out a little, or the alcohol ink out a little. This one we need some more red in it. So I definitely have a love of flowers. My grandparents used to own a greenhouse business. They had it for 74 years. So when I was a little kid, I used to ride my bike there and work in the greenhouses. The 
this would make a uh, nice card to give to a friend or like I said you can just take and put it in a frame and hang it on your wall My little dishes that I use are actually made for butter. They're little ceramic trays and they work perfect for this. I use those for when I'm going to my shows. And I don't have to take my big trays. So a lot of times I'll jump from one tulip to the other and that allows me to kind of watch and see which direction the inks are going. And I kind of like those. We'll add a tiny more yellow to this one. And I think we'll go ahead and put on our stems. So I want to have a clean brush when I go into that green. And I want very little alcohol and a good amount of ink. I'm just going to bring my stems, clean off my brush in between. Go back in, clean my brush, grab some ink, and bring my stems down. And the last one. Again, make sure you don't have too much ink or too much alcohol on your brush. You don't want it to run away from you. And if you find that you're picking up the other colors, make sure you clean your brush. Dip back into your green. We're just going to put that stem behind the other. And if you want yours to have more of that wisp on the top, you can do that too. And you can see I got a little pink dot there. I'm going to take and dip into a little alcohol with a Q-tip. Just rub it out a tiny bit. Just so it's not so bright. It's not going to wipe all the way off being that it's Yupo paper. 
but it's at least faded in a little and I like it and if you like the dot you can leave that too you can even add dots by flicking some on and just kind of work that in a little bit more So I will leave a list of the colors below that I used. And if this video was helpful to you, I'd like, um, I you know, it'd be great if you left me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you'd like to see more videos. And feel free to leave in the comment section what you'd like to see. And I'll see if I can do it for you. You can see more of my work on Instagram or Facebook under my name, Teresa Kovlak. And I think we'll call that a beautiful tulip. So again, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy painting.